The PreoVR Dev Kit Suit is a powerful new inertial motion capture solution that has recently begun shipping out to developers all over the world. When your suit arrives, it will be packed neatly in a box and ready to assemble. Setting up your suit for the first time can be somewhat daunting, so in this video, we will go over how to do just that. In this guide, we will be taking a PreoVR dev kit from fresh out of the box, installing the required utilities for proper operation, assembling the components, and ultimately, suiting up to game on in our provided zombie survival demo. Before we begin, make sure to charge the PreoVR hub on a powered USB port. To start things off, point your browser to yoastlabs.com and find the downloads page for the PreoVR dev kit. This tutorial shows one method of getting there from the Yoast Labs homepage. When downloading the PreoVR utility, you might as well also download the zombie survival demo for use later. Unzip the files and run the installer as shown. Once the utility is installed, it will show up as an application on the computer. For a Windows 7 PC, simply search using the word Preo in the start menu and you should find it. Once the utility has been installed, you can plug in the PreoVR base station. At this point, we are ready to assemble the suit itself. Place the PreoVR hub in its designated bracket on the chest piece of the suit. Move on to install the 16 individual PreoVR sensors in the designated elastic pockets located on various parts of the suit. It is important to note that the sensors only work if they are all connected facing the same direction on the sensor chain, away from the hub. Each sensor has two arrows indented into the case to denote the direction of that sensor. If you connect a sensor facing the wrong direction, its LED will light up, but it and any sensors connected to it down the chain will not be able to communicate. This guide will show in what orientation to insert sensors for all of the central and left-hand parts of the suit. The right-hand parts of the suit will be set up in an identical fashion. Attached to the vest are the upper arm sleeves. The sensors installed here point away from the body, and naturally downward when you are standing normally, arms at your side. On the vest, there are spots for a sensor on each shoulder blade on the back. These sensors will point down towards the ground when you are wearing the vest. Also on the back of the vest is the pocket for the hip sensor. This one faces down towards the ground and away from the center of the chest, where the hub is located. The knee pads each have two pockets for sensors. When inserting sensors into the knee pad straps, they should face down towards the ground as well. Note that the proper orientation of the knee pad is to have the larger strap on top as it goes on above the knee. The knee pads also have labeling on the back with an L or R to denote on which side of the body they should be attached. The hand straps each have two pockets for sensors too. Orient the hand strap by placing your thumb through the hole in the strap. The left and right hand straps are not strictly labeled, but the distinction between them will become self-evident when you try to put them on. The sensors on these straps point down and away from the center of the body, towards the fingertips. For the foot straps, the orientation of the sensor is preferential. The strap can go on the foot in either orientation, so it will be necessary to check the direction of the sensor in the pocket when putting the foot strap on to make sure it is pointing towards the toes. The head strap, like the foot straps, does not have a clear orientation for the sensor. Make sure to check the orientation of the sensor so that it is pointing upwards towards the sky when you wear the head strap. Once all of the sensors have been installed, it is time to route all of the cables through the fabric of the suit. You will be shown how to route cables through each of the central and left hand portions of the suit, as the right hand portions are simply mirrored. The quick start manual has diagrams that show you how to set up your suit. 
Starting with the first port on the hub, which goes to the head sensor, connect a long coiled T3 cable and route it through the innermost cable holds, remembering to run them under the elastic bands whenever possible. You can see here that the coils of the cable make it too thick to simply slide through the cable hold, so use a gentle twisting motion to coax the cable through until the desired length is reached. Once you have pushed the cable through the two cable holds, lead it through the mesh on the strap that crosses just behind the neck and pass it through the hole in the center where it will go on to connect to the headband. Grab a longer male to female T6 cable and plug it into the second slot. This cable will be going to the left arm of the suit. This cable will go underneath the elastic band and through the middle cable hold on the left side of the suit. Attach a short coiled T2 cable to the T6 cable and run that up through the outermost cable hold and under the elastic band just beyond that. This cable will connect directly into the left shoulder blade sensor from above. On the other side of that sensor, connect another short coiled T2 which will go directly into the nearest side of the next sensor on the upper arm strap of the suit. From here, connect yet another short coiled T2 cable and connect it to the first sensor on the hand strap. To connect the two sensors on the hand strap, grab a short male to male T1 cable. The hand controller will go on the end of the final sensor, which you will see later. For the third port on the hub, plug in a short coiled T2 cable and run it under the elastic bands and through the middle rings of both the cable holds traveling to the shoulder blade sensor on the right side of the back. The right arm is assembled in an identical fashion to the left arm at this point. The fourth port on the hub is used solely for the sensor on the hip strap. Run a short male to female cable from this port under the elastic band on the lower right hand side of the chest piece and through the topmost ring of the cable hold nearby. To that cable, connect a long coiled T3 cable which will wrap around to the back of the suit, pressing through a single ring cable hold and down towards the hip sensor. For the left leg, use a long male to female T6 cable and run it as shown from the fifth port on the hub through both elastic bands on the lower half of the chest piece and through the bottommost ring of the cable hold on the lower left side of the chest piece. For the right leg, run the shorter male to female T5 from the sixth port on the hub through the nearest elastic band and through the bottommost ring of the nearest cable hold. For the knee pads, the wiring may seem a little confusing, so make sure to follow the image in the provided quick start manual closely. Use the remaining long coiled T3 cables for the upper portion of the left and right leg. These cables go from the female end of their associated cable from the chest piece through a single ring cable hold on the upper knee strap and into the sensor from above. Connect the upper knee strap sensor to the lower knee strap sensor with the longer male to male T4 cable. Run the remaining short coiled T3 cables through the bottom knee strap single ring cable holds and down to each of the foot sensors. Finally, plug in the controllers on the sensors on the back of the palm of the hand straps. Now that the suit is wired and all of the sensors are connected, it is time to calibrate it for use. Before inserting the suit into the box, power on the hub and ensure that all sensors are receiving power and that all cables are secure. Place the suit in the box it came in, making sure not to tug on cables or compress any portion of the suit more than necessary. The suit should fit snugly inside without much room to wiggle or drift.
After closing up the box, connect to the suit from the PreoVR utility by pressing the Connect button. Allow the utility time to gather information about your suit. Launch the Calibration Wizard from the Tools menu on the PreoVR utility as shown here. Follow the prompts and start sampling for box calibration. Rotate the box on all axes and keep doing so until each sensor reaches the satisfactory number of valid samples. After the suit has collected enough data to commit calibration, press the Commit and Close button and follow its prompts. Wait for the data to be committed to the suit. The calibration wizard will close automatically after it has completed this operation. The suit is now ready to wear. Power down the suit before putting it on. In our experience, it is easiest to disconnect the long coiled T3 cables going to the legs as well as the hand controllers before donning the vest. In this guide, we also disconnected the short coiled T2 cables from the upper arm sensors that attach to the hand straps for clearer demonstration. Starting with the vest, unclip one or both of the large elastic bands that surround the rib cage and drape the vest over yourself. Be sure not to tangle or wrap any cables under the fabric. Having a friend spot you during this process is helpful. After clipping the large bands back together, you can reach behind you and locate the hip strap. It wraps around your waist like a belt. After the core of the suit is secured to your body, you can begin to put on the left and right upper arm straps. Adjust straps at your leisure, making sure that each portion of the suit is snug and will not drift around while you move. Move on to equip the knee pads and foot straps, reconnecting those long coiled T3 cables to their designated male to female cables stemming from the chest piece. Again, adjust straps as necessary to prevent drift. The suit is almost ready to go. Place the hand straps on your hands and use the Velcro to tighten them down as shown. Reconnect the short coiled T2 cables to their respective sensors on each upper arm. Finally, reconnect the hand controllers and go over all the straps one last time, tightening everything down to minimize drift as much as possible. Power on the suit. You are now ready to use the PreoVR dev kit suit for capturing motion data and getting in the game. For the remainder of the tutorial, we will show you how to stream data from the suit in the PreoVR utility and use the suit in the zombie survival demo. Go to the PreoVR utility. If you are not already connected to the utility after box calibration, press connect now. Once connected, you should press the calibrate suit button. You will be given a countdown in which time you should get into the T-pose to give each sensor an origin position so the utility can synchronize your suit with the skeleton on the screen. You are now ready to begin streaming. Press the Start Streaming button and watch your movements mirrored by the skeleton on the screen. Notice that the inputs on the hand controllers are shown on the screen as well. To finish the tutorial, take the suit for a ride in the zombie survival demo. Simply unzip and open the downloaded folder. Launch the exe file and get in the game.
Thank you for checking out this tutorial, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please visit our website at yoastlabs.com and email us at support at yoastlabs.com. Thank you.